and welcome to Dr. Thomas L. Higdon Elementary School. I'm here today with Ms. Mary Bailey, the 2013 Charles County Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Ms. Bailey. Thank you, Brian. How did you feel when you found out you won the award? I was very humbled but excited to be recognized for this award and I was especially proud because it was a nomination made by a parent and it's kind of like at a job when you work for a boss, I feel like parents are my boss because they give me their students and their children to help become better learners so that made me the most happy and the most proud. What does this award mean to you personally? I've worked really hard for 27 years. I don't do what I do for any kind of recognition. I come to work every day and it's a great job that I have and an important job. But it is really a powerful thing when people recognize the hard work that you do. And it encourages you to keep doing that work more and more. What influenced you to be a teacher? When I was in school, I struggled quite a bit with learning and my mom really wanted to retain me because she noticed that I wasn't keeping up like my brothers had and that I was struggling and the teachers kept saying no she'll be okay she'll be okay but my mom really was a voice for me and she said I really think that she would do better if she got to repeat a grade so I kind of understood what it was for kids to struggle and I didn't want them to struggle I wanted to be able to help them so that learning would be easy and fun and I also had a cousin who had a disability and his mother who was my great aunt she really pushed to be his voice and to make sure that he had an excellent education and even as an adult that he was not discriminated against in the workplace. She always spoke out and I really wanted to honor her in that way. You started out as a special education teacher. Talk about the experience and why you decided to make a change to a reading recovery teacher. I started out in special education, like I said, because I had struggled myself and I worked in middle school at Pickle Waxen for 17 years in reading and language arts and I even got to teach inclusion class which was social studies, exploratory foreign language. I helped to modify different uh, PE or health tests, anything that the kids needed to make them be able to access their education just like everyone else. I thought maybe I'd stay there forever but then I realized it was time to make a change and someone told me about reading recovery. So I came here to Dr. Higdon and I observed the reading recovery teacher and I thought wow I could have been a really a much better middle school teacher had I known those skills that she's teaching children at an early age. I also think it's so important to help kids early so they don't struggle later on. Tell us what a reading recovery teacher does. Reading recovery teachers work with the lowest 20 percent of the first graders and they've been identified through testing and by their kindergarten teachers and we help them to accelerate to the average of their class in just 20 weeks time. It's a short period of time but they come for individual instruction 30 minutes a day and they learn to be better readers and writers and they take those skills and use them for the rest of their time when they're in school. And we uh, monitor their progress as they go through second grade and then I continue personally, I continue to check on them all the way until they're in fifth grade even. Everyone understands the value of literacy but has their own viewpoint on why it is so important. Explain why you think reading is such a prize skill for a student to have. Well, reading just opens doors to all kinds of things in your imagination. It helps you to read up more about factual things and helps you to become just a well-rounded person who can talk about different topics and go places that maybe you can never experience on your own, but you can through books. And if you can't read, it's really hard to just get along from day to day, much less to be able to do those things that you'll be able to enjoy. What do you enjoy the most about coming to work every day here at Dr. Higdon? I think that I am so blessed and so fortunate to be a person who can say that I do love my job. I absolutely love when a child learns that they can read and they tell that to other people. I had a young boy, a first grader, the other day who had to stay in just for about 10 minutes from recess. I that was something just more important than maybe playing and having recess that day. That's something that's really amazing to me. Also seeing the growth in kids who maybe could read on a level one when they start, but 20 weeks go by and they read on a level 12. And they can see, also seeing the growth in kids who maybe could read on a level one when they start, but 20 weeks go by and they read on a level 12. And they can see that change and they say, I know how to read now, and they get excited about it. I think that's the most rewarding part of this job. 